the key. It's the yep. new, new additions because it's Heat, right? You're not going to go, okay, well, they beat Heat, great. But it was the new additions were there. And conversely, Heroic haven't shown that same kind of, uh, they haven't given us that same confidence with Yabby in the lineup. It's still been a question mark. So here we go. Another chance for them to prove that this uh, addition is going to bring them to a new level. Sun Pius spotting at least one. He's a second there. We got the duelies in towards Donut. That's Diha. He's going to have attention on him. Jumping around the corner. Tessis goes down. Dia still able to fight, but goes down to Shush. Yeah, gets just in that one with the Glock up close. Snappy with the second set of du duelies. I still want to say deaglies. I don't know why. That's kind of cool. Some deaglies? Deaglies. Some deagly rounds in there. Uh, he's going to be holding it out inside of the donut position. He can actually fall off. Watch the push right now toward the bottom side of Jaguar because they're all going to collect themselves at boxes. They've got a single player in the form of Katie and going up toward middle. Snappy with the duelies is going to have to be perfect. Oh, they wind it up. They make it too easy. He's got the third shortly. He's got the ammunition in advantage. And three for the duelies. I dare say this time, Jason, they've won the round. As Kadian goes running and gunning, takes down Madden. Now he needs to pick up the weapon and go back the other direction with it. The problem is it's almost out of ammunition and he doesn't hit the first couple of shots. Some Pius will close us out. One nothing for Entz. Yeah, I mean, Heroic's doing everything right there with that kill that Stown gets into the A bomb site as well. I think falling back to be they just never expected someone to be that advanced they expected the defense to be behind the bomb site playing a bit more passive they're clear left instead of right unfortunately and snappy's able to take advantage of it line up for an easy first two kills and look how fast those duelies can go yabby falls third and it's one to nothing for ends i call that donut by the way i meant jaguar entirely i was confused as the mini map for me was broken but we're here i'm broken we're back in the room Nice kill from Sun Pius being aggressive. Valda's here as well. The new additions holding on to middle. And it's an absolute That's catastrophe. Actually, pretty solid that Sun Pius was there because Valda was just blind fire at that point in time. Yeah. But he gets saved, Sun Pius, with three over the top. So looking good at the start as well. I was going to say they got four of them. So, I mean, this can go both ways. You're going to see the advantage fights from Heroic in this round. But if Entz can find a way to win it with these SMGs, plenty of upgrades available to him. This could be huge for the Entz defense early on. Diha aggressive in A main to start. Valda is going to slink away towards Donut as well, so Diha is going to step up, but this is going to be so difficult. He spots an AK-47, might want to back off now. Tough angle to play. Long A, often quite isolated. Baroque was lined up towards the A bomb, so I think if they get that kill, they kind of start marching forward and find a timing to explode. As it is, three of them back off. Shush to play behind the smoke at A. They're going to retake middle. out from L turn clear the cubby close shush needs to get outside of the flames can't do it Volda SMG's already winning it out do they go for that AK I think they do yeah he cleared it as well he sees nobody's there that was the big thing the AK-47 is a cherry on top of that Sunday two to nothing out towards mid Sun Pius not going to connect with spam that's dangerous against those AK-47s but Heroic still don't know where they want to end up quite yet smoke going deep toward the A side of the map, that's just a ruse at this point because they're trying to sell this back over toward B with a 2-2 split, in fact. They're going to go up middle. So forget the Jaguar slash ramp approach. In fact, they haven't seen any action toward ramp at all. It's so cool, though. That smoke towards A is actually allowing them to kind of aggress towards middle. It's taking the attention to the A bomb site. Valda's going to be on a flank, but it's going to take a while. A lot of this falls on a Madden's shoulders. SMG to defend against Stown and Tesses. Shots in. Madden. Close, gonna go back around the corner, run out of ammunition, test this once more, but he's got Dabby to show up behind. And they clear the site with that split, the sandwich, but Snappy still sits. Now the, the widened pillar, I know it's been a bit of time, but first time we're gonna see it in Pro League uh, this season. It makes a lot of difference for the coverage. He can't quite get an angle. He can't spray through as easily, and Jabby goes back. Good find on Volda. And three players surviving. Okay, Jabby. I think that, that that actually felt like it should have been an end round. I'm surprised Madden wasn't way more aggressive with that SMG as he had some Pius fighting at the back corner as well. And instead, he kind of just gets sandwiched trying to pre-fire to make sure no peek comes in. Heroic plants the bomb. Remember, they had known Snappy was in cave earlier, so they were prepared for that peek as well. This right here, surprised that Madden didn't turn that corner. That gave everything away and plenty of bodies to check the flank as well. Valda's long rotation yields nothing. Two to one. Third round by works out for Heroic, but they've got an op on Sun Pius to contend with in this round. Aggressive stance. They're going to push ramp this time behind the smoke. Snappy and Madden heading that direction. Going to go for the boost, in fact. This could yield a kill if... Ooh, Jabby's not... Okay, well, they made too much noise jumping off it, so I think they're going to be... 
on high alert. Xabi certainly shoulder peeking it and checking the position. Donut hold right now as well for Dia, which means they have the reverse take of the site. We know how awkward that can be to fight against without mid control on the T side. So they need to be aware of that possibility if they go that way. Bomb's still heading back toward Banana and they have mid covered with Valda, just to note. Desents. That's a deep crossfire, passive crossfire with Dia and Donut. Donut's so strong. CT side. Yeah, yeah. Sun Pius is going to step up now. Just smokes a main to give himself some time to work with to readjust his position. Trusting the smoke is going to dissuade anyone from attacking that position. So now two players in Donut and Sun Pius with an angle. I don't know if Rogue's going to expect an AWP, so Tessas might just slow crouch right into this. Dia goes out. Tessas doesn't matter if he slow crouched or not. He was sitting duck when he was found. Just trying to run back up toward middle. DS chasing, but smoke down in front of him. Can't find open shots. Volta backed all the way off on this. He was inside that top candle room, but now sits back toward the site. Meanwhile, over at A, Sunpai is not able to collect on the first shot. It's KD that will get the first rotation. Now Sunpai goes to work two inside of Donut as well. So if they chase that AWP, you still have Dia in that position. Oh, this, is... this found. They actually could run the... Ah, oh, they don't have time. Excuse me. As I say, they could run this back over toward B, but they were on four seconds. They've got the bomb down. Madden that wants to start the take, but Gabby again looking solid so far. Dia's gonna find him in return two on two. That's really cool from Heroic to find themselves in this situation. Tough round going through middle. Now just huddled up, no utility, waiting for contact for the follow-up peak. There's the shots on Shush. The off can't grab an angle. Good flick from Sapias, but nowhere to go afterwards. Two to two. Heroic have tied it up and they've taken control of the money. Yeah, good kill Katie and a slide back out from the temple. They have indeed taken control of the money. Heroic, I would argue, was one of the first teams to get comfortable on this map. I, I still think there's many different approaches to it, but they, they went to it really early in its life. Yeah, well, they, there's a lot of teams that have gotten good at it now. And Heroic still having to, I mean, I think everything right now for them is a little bit difficult as we've been relatively disappointed with results, but obviously we'll see if they can recover here at Pro League. Deep nade, good damage. Those MAC-10s are gonna chew up these unarmored opponents. Snappy slowly, but going toward the box. He's gonna run a gun, wow, so well played. Takes Jabby down. Ooh, don't think it's gonna do much for the round, but it's uh, still insulting to get runned and gunned by a USP in a situation like this. Stowen looking back toward the Jaguar just to make sure there's no further pushes. Look at the HP though, Jason. I'd say Heroic go up three to two. So both rounds that Heroic have won in the gun rounds, uh, forget about this one currently that we're watching, have, have kind of taken place late mid control, walk up mid, walk up the stairs through the room. Once they've wrapped on B, the other time they've wrapped on A and they've done a really good job of making it awkward for the Ents rotations who are trying to support their teammates. That'll be something you imagine Ents are talking about trying to find a solution to. Easy kill on Devalda, no chance for him. Sun Pius, the last one left. It's gonna be three to two. Cadian should be able to time this well. I think, in fact, Tessus is just going to spray inside of the smoke to take down some Pius. So, Heroic in the lead early. This is still a fan of this. I don't know where I would end up if you pressed me between this or Cash, though, in the map pool. Oh, that was now I'm going to take down Snappy. So Snappy again trying to get a little bit creative, pushing through Jaguar. Madden wants to do the same, and he immediately decapitates Stowen with the M4. So Snappy holding on to that position. The geological site. This is much simpler from Heroic this time. One kill towards Jaguar and execute onto that A-bomb site. Off angle for Valda yields results. There goes Shush. They can boost up now as well if they choose to. Madden doing his best to hold on to Cave, but he's got a late lurk coming in. He's got to adjust his attention. Is he going to be prepared in time? The answer is no. He thought it was clear. Tessus sneaks in, and there's no commitment from Heroic. They can go elsewhere. However, they're out of utility. Round three, no utility. You're right to cover off this back. All position. Dia up close. I want to boost him, but he's got that elongated position of the stairs. It's Tessus that immediately finds him, though, and Jabby's going to go all oh, right by. He's not going to check it shortly, is he? Oh, he looks twice, but Vold is ready for it. Nearly goes out to find Kadian, but the AWP already trained his aim. And Tessus will take down some pious four to two now for Heroic. So not only have they answered losing the pistol, they've got four. And Kadian looks rather pleased with that. Yeah.
that's, I mean, shout out to Heroic for calling that timeout and switching things up entirely. Snappy getting caught again, trying to make a play through smoke. This one was curious. Madden's got two teammates inside of the B bomb site. And he's even smoked off and he still takes his attention away from, from Jaguar and away from the flank. That's a tough kill to take in that scenario. Two round lead for Heroic. Looking good, despite some of the question marks that have uh, come into play with this team recently. Starting this map out really well. Snappy, once again in Jaguar. It's interesting we don't just call this cat because a Jaguar is a cat and we have cat on every other map, but okay. you know, we just like to confuse things, apparently. And we like to get fancy. I don't know about that. That's a facade. <laughs> Rolled up with a few shots on the Deagle over top of the incandescent, making sure no one is trying to sneak up the stairs and get in a better position. Smoke's gonna go through the cave. So his force further back this time defensively is snappy. We've seen him be continuously aggressive. Jaguar now, Tessa's actually gonna bypass the Didn't see it at all. So this could be punishing, devastating. Bounce off the wall. Dehuff forced into the open. Perfect be played from Stown. Defense is starting to get a little mobile. Madden rotating over to try and shore up some things, but again, just so disadvantaged in terms of wet weaponry. Gabby's gonna add some bias onto the Deathless. Snappy takes him down in return, but ooh, there goes Valda. That's the bomb. That's the bomb with 28 seconds, and now Valda's got a Molotov and an AK-47. This could get interesting. Tessus is trying to get on the horse here and run down Valda. Knows he has to be aggressive. Tessus is being baited out, though. He finds Madden. Does Snappy capitalize? He's too far away. He is baiting shots, though. He's buying time. But the kill still comes. And I think that, yeah, they did. They got bomb and all of that as we were watching the other kills. So Valda knows he's out of this round. Yeah. He's got to bail off of it and keep the AK. It could have been so much more, but this is the smart call at the end. Yeah, he did everything he could. He took attention to two players away. He gave his teammates a two-on-one -on -one in the middle of the map, and they couldn't convert it. So there's no point in Valda sticking around to fight. They know his position. Three-round lead for Heroic early on here on Ancient. Their map pick. Things looking good for the Danish side. Not bad at all. Although you say the Danish side. The more Danish side, for sure. <laughs> As Apollo was trying to push this to be a bit of a rivalry between them. Was he? I you didn't hear him on the desk saying that the interview you know, was disappointing, that it wasn't a, a rivalry. <laughs> Typical Paula just wanting drama all the time. I know the, uh, what Farley gave a nice interview earlier today saying that he was excited to play heroic eventually in this group. Because, I mean, that's an obvious rivalry that we've had mm -hmm. going on for a while. Yeah, that always hasn't it's been a, a friendly rivalry. Utility out from both teams. Chaotic in middle. Nobody's escaped. Again, Heroic with this 4-1 setup. Four towards the A-bomb site early. Last time they did this, they took control of these init this initial staging area and fell back for late mid-control. Snappy. It's tickled. So again, they've got to be a little more passive. There's going to be some pressure on A on this. Yeah, Tessus is, 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 is way far back, ready to line up some utility, chuck a smoke out. D is being a bit indecisive right now on how he wants to support his teammate. And the problem with that is they're very close to the mouth of the A entrance. The problem with that too is they don't really have a whole lot of utility, just two smokes to work with, no flashbangs to slow things down, no nades, no anything to activate any kind of a crossfire. Here comes the deep utility. Smoke to put out the Molotov. Dia can still fight. Nah, he can't now. Both sides of the box. Manages one, and he was struggling to trace that down, so it was an easy trade. But yeah, I, I think he was in a bit of a no man's land in that situation. I know what he was trying to do and support Donut, but they had no information as to what was going on at long. So now Jabby's going to get aggressive and make sure there will be no rotations. He wasn't really prepared to pounce off the contact from Valdo, although Valdo did go down very, very quickly. That's a nice clean hit from Heroic. Yabby even gets one on the other side of the map as someone tries to push down B ramp and gets completely eliminated. So Pia sees the shoulder, able to grab Yabby. And now it comes down to how much Heroic want to hunt for these last two weapons. They've definitely got the cast to justify doing so, but I don't think the time is there for it, so they'll back away. 3-2, the manpower, 5-2, about to become a sixth for Heroic in the score as the bomb goes off, this time on A. Still not seeing a lot of presence, has to be said, from Heroic on the ramp, but they're certainly now putting Snappy further back inside that cave, and that's giving them a lot more freedom. 
Great entrance from Shush. Great route to run. Like I said, there's no flashbangs. There's no nades or anything to put anything out. Nothing to slow down this hit. It's actually taking advantage of the fact that the Ents defenders, or at least Deha inside the bomb site, has to spend time with the smoke to put out the Molotov simply so he could survive. Four round lead. Heroic looking good. Here we go in round number nine. This time, three players towards B, towards those holes, towards that ramp. Gabby swings. Make sure that they can clear the back side of the Jaguar. And this is, uh, Snappy's gonna go in this bit of a gap in the smoke. Does he wanna push all the way through? No, okay, he's just gonna fire and fall. I thought he might actually sneak out toward middle, but that's a bit of a risky play. He does have support, though. Some Pius being pushed down and having Valda there, I thought they might try and just totally take over mid with him, with that, especially that smoke being kind of one way in his favor. Ants aren't really finding anything with their forward positions in this half so far. This has been a really good job from Heroic to neutralize the effectiveness of any kind of a aggressive stance, aggressive angle. Valda caught out in the open as the smoke clears, but he's got a nice precise headshot on Detesse's. Shush holding him locked in. That's the problem, he's locked. There's no way out of this position, and Valda's gonna be very patient about it and try and lure him forward. Shush would be the one he's going for. And Shush nails him with a flash and a preset state, uh, excuse me, strafe fire. And he doesn't come up further in middle, so the, forget the player in Donut. Forget the fact that Dia's waiting for it. He's not gonna get a chance to get the kill. Yeah, he's rotating back towards A. Looks like Hadian and Stown want to put on some kind of a fake. Maybe one of them commits, one of them lurks in middle, but Shush and Yabby certainly going to be able to try and find a two-on-one at the eight bomb site. It's Deha who's going to have to have step up to the plate for that one. If Heroic doesn't commit anyone to this, ooh, they've pulled everyone. They are pulling the entire defense away. That's incredible. Good shot from Deha, but he's in some trouble. He's got the second. Ball moves down. I think through the box, but doesn't do a ton of damage. He's able to go after Stowin and Snappy as we snap over, is able to get Katie in inside of middle. Only five seconds remained in that round either way. So Baum was not near enough to the ground to be a concern. And it's the third finally for Entz. Yeah, really steps up to the plate there. That was a tough situation and Port would have liked. Molotov's both ways, so. CT is looking to get aggressive. They take middle this time, but Snappy gets locked in by a standardized smoke, and then they also covered ramp to make sure there'd be no other pushing. So Dia trying to bait. Uh, I don't. I'm not, I'm not sure I know what Snappy's up to at this point, because Dia's trying to bait him in, and then he still fires the suppressor to give away that he's there. Either way, they come out with the kill. Shush is going to take down Madden, no, and they know that Snappy has to be playing in return through Cave at this point. Yeah, bomb's going to be brought up late as well. Shush has a good angle. No flashbangs for many teammates to put him into an advanced position. Good shot from Valda. Shush not yet making a play around the corner. Just peeking now. Almost able to grab one. Brings one some pious very, very low. Bomb not planted yet. Plenty of time. Heroic trying to calm this down, but Entz is pressing the issue and taking everyone down. It's just Kadian with the op. Yeah, the, the Shush had the good position, but there was nothing they could get done with it. The second he went down, they didn't have a... Redundancy plan for the position as the flash was read by Katie and but his aim not quick enough to go back and find out Diaz. So another round for Entz, two in a row. I, I'm not sure I know what Snappy's playing at. Am I missing, like is someone pulling a flashbang from middle that I'm not seeing and he's trying to mask the noise or something? Because I don't understand why he continues to pre-fire that box for two or three shots when they don't know that he's there. I do a little bit of damage. I think it doesn't really matter giving up your position there because everyone's, I mean, that's just such a popular spot to be aggressive at. Everyone's going to assume someone's there as well. So trying to do a little bit of chip damage, maintain some presence. I guess when he was solo, I had no issue with it, but that time it looked like Dio was trying to bait for him and trying to actually pull someone. So I, I was a bit surprised he did fire, but... I think it was more. I think it was more of a surprise of the play that was being made from the T side. I can't remember who it was not heroic, but yeah, looked a little silly with someone trying to press the smoke on the other side of things. Over towards the other side of the map, another four-one, another chance for Diha to be the hero. Off angle around the box, spams into the smoke. Beautiful find, nice and easy. Got to be careful. Off waiting on the other side, trying to pin down a peak. Kadian missed an opportunity, but nothing really to flush out Diha. No Molotov from the heroic side. Yeah, Dia missed an opportunity if he wanted to reposition, but they doesn't need to. The pressure hasn't really come through any further, and now he has a teammate inside of Donuts. So Madden's there. They're going to back off this. Just get out. And Madden hears that, which is why Dia knows he can bail out. Madden and Donut hears these footsteps, so he's going to readjust and watch towards middle. 
And that's where they'll go. Madden's forward of the donut, though, so this will be an interesting play. It does mean he's forward of a Molotov that could be thrown and bounced in. First kill, success, needs to go back around. Katie is still looking that way with the AWP. Tessis is going to hit a beautiful shot on Dia because that could have been the, the round in itself. Take down the op, take down the second player on the ledge. Snappy back over toward the smoke. He sprayed it in too early. Blinded up. Tech 9 running and gunning. Snappy wants back around, but they've already gotten in toward the pillar, and I'm not sure he's aware, so he's going to be smart about this. Be more efficient. Back off. Sees Shadow. Knows that it's Snappy that's low on HP, so it falls back to a two on two, but the bomb. Oh, will hit the deck. Nice shot, Snappy. Tessis is going to spray back and do the same on him. Madden and turns it over and finds the second kill as well as Heroic goes 7 4. That's uh, that late mid take as well that pushes up the stairs because Enz didn't have an answer for that one. That's what netted Heroic their first two gun rounds. Madden relegated to the 5 7 has not really gotten going in this game, so he's comfortable that his teammates have the weaponry. Belay wanted to see the Sun Pius that we had. On the CT side, he's gonna get one more this time. Jabby goes down, and he'll rotate around. Kadian should be aware of this, though, on the respective T side at all. This is the shot, the jumping. Target as it fell back and decided to sight snap. He will now be able to support his teammates at B more effectively, rather than being aggressive toward the cave. That's gonna be a full transfer, full rotation from Heroic. A, the play. Forward stance, by the way. Valda, Famas in his hands. Cool. See if he can get one. Headshot Langle already there. Knew it, but Kadian comes straight back around with the AWP. Still plenty of time for them to move across the map as well once again. They just came all the way over here, get that one for one. Back towards middle we go, where Tessis is already taking a little bit of space. Might catch some Pius off guard. There's the jump, doesn't see anything. Tess is close. This time, he's got it swinging out. He finds Tessa's coming up the stairs, overexposed, ready for more. It's Snappy from Donut, who can't control the spray. That'll be frustrating. Tessa's, that's so frustrating as well, because he can hear the jumping opera. He thinks, right, I put the jump on him. I can totally get the peek ahead of time, but some Pius was not done checking. He's going to take down Stalin as well. So it's just Katie, and then with nine seconds left, the round is over. I think Stalin actually caught that at the end as well. Switched out to a gun to try and take the fight, but just couldn't get comfortable in it. Kadian's being hunted. Madden coming in hot with that 5-7. Doesn't mind losing it, but he doesn't commit. So Kadian's going to get away with the AWP, and Heroic have a very weird monetary situation staring it's them in the face. Fair bit of awareness for Kadian. Because you think, why would he scope him? Why not just run around the pillar and just play the sound? The problem is he knows he's probably being stared at from inside of the A site as well. So, didn't know. An aggressive decision. Stadium with no vision after the smoke and the Molotov goes down at the elbow. Gonna give Valda a bit of a chance to kind of get stuck in in middle, but boost for the AWP. Can't see deep, but they can certainly clear toward boxes with that position. the shoulder shot now they know where the AWP is went back for the wall he was well intended but unfortunately a little bit too late you can see the bullet hole going through the box just in front of all this position excuse me snappy's position i was gonna say it's normally snappy there i've just misread the minimap again jason i don't read very well <laughs> I am minimap illiterate. You're a color by numbers kind of guy, aren't you? Yes. Ooh, sees the leg on the boost. Narrow miss. Sun Pius going to back away. This hit is coming in. Sun Pius and Dihut to defend. But man, there's not a whole lot of strong weaponry, not a whole lot of utility for Rogue to make this work. Good shot. Doubles up, gets some extra damage. Dia pounces, but can't find any kills. And now this is sketchy. Some spam through the smoke. He yields one more, but the bomb is going down. Oh, they're getting in front of his teammate, trying to fire back inside of the smoke, let the op get reset. Big advantage in terms of manpower and HP. Ooh, Valda's missed out on the shot, but gets the call. Nonetheless, Katie is still inside of Temple. He's the one that's really got to save this round right now for his team. And 22 HP, I think he's going to just concede, or does he rotate and try and get a shot? He's buying time. He can't run too far because they'll know that he's gone. So they're going to get the kid on top of this round over. Kadian just trying to be sneaky and stay alive. Maybe convince them he's run all the way back over to the other side of the map. But if they go chasing, they'll go the wrong way. So it'll still be the AWP4 hero. Gulas.
Uh, I, say his name? I believe Gallus. so, but I'm not entirely sure if this is the Gallus portion. Gallus, thank you. I always say it wrong. I apologize to anyone out there. Um, yeah, congratulations to everyone who got tickets uh, yesterday when they went on sale again for the expanded audience. That's going to be an incredible major with that many people there. Yeah, going to be very, very cool. wait to not hear myself think, and I mean that. Honestly, <laughs> that, that's not sarcasm. Like, I can't wait to be enthralled in that crowd. That's going to be incredible. I think everyone feelings probably pretty mutual, Matt. I imagine even on Twitch, you're going to get a feeling for it. Just Ooh. sitting at home, it's going to be that loud, snappy, ringing in his ears from a blinded flash, but a slow shot. Madden does get down, 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 found snappy. First, it's two left to find, Kadian and Shush. That smoke miss. That smoke miss, and a chance for Kadian with that off. Oh, he does get one. On three, though, again, Kadian, the last one alive, starting to look a little more like Jame in this game. There is, there's some money concerns, I think, for Ents. Not too much, but they don't want to lose another player, and thankfully, Valda shuts it down, so now we don't even have to talk about the money problem. Seven to seven, last round of the first half. More money, more problems, Jason. Well, get in on it. Those tickets would be pretty sweet. Probably all gone by now. <laughs> yeah, probably that fast, let's be real. Hey man, if I'm not commentating, maybe I'll fly down to Rio. They've been live for three for three minutes and they're probably gone. Bring the mountain bike and there's gotta be some I mean, very least Peru's got some bike. Oh good push through Testis. He's gonna just sit on the edge of the flames, gets out of them in time as well. Barely took damage from that. He's not done. He knows some pious is stuck inside of the corner, but he gives him a better chance than he needed. And some pious makes no mistake on it with the AWP. Yeah, but the B bomb site's wide open. Yabby's down shush marching up right now. There's absolutely no resistance. Snappy is stuck in Jaguar. He's gonna move towards cave. Some pious is just rotating over late, but they already have deep control towards the back corner and they're smoked off. Perfect position for Heroic to be in. Snappy has got to create something for his team to get back into this, but man, is he shut down. It's a nerd angle from Kadian to watch the flank. Nerds are cool, Jason. Snappy. Still stuck inside of that cave position. Gonna try and work in conjunction with his teammates. Gotta go, but be quick about it. Kadian's already gone over to the AK. They know where he is. They know he's down toward the ramp, but does that give Yabby a chance as they tunnel in on him? Absolutely it does. He walks out and finds two from the back lane. And Dia, inside smoke, is he gonna stick this? Sure, but that doesn't matter because Kadian's right there in Hero. Let's see what we've got. Snappy's got some pretty clever calls on him. Valde with a one-tap P250. Traded immediately, but the first one looked cool. Looked great. Looked pretty stylish. That's nice. Sun Bias gonna look for the jump up, try and watch the flank. Here's the footsteps from Yabby, I believe. And definitely hears them now in towards cave. And Ens is quite easily gonna get the bomb planted. It's all about the post plant though. Holding off the retake's gonna be tough. Shush. USP in hand. Stowen, some pious, they're all looking for opportunities, and it's shush they'll get. So he goes down in cave. Immediate counter push, though, back toward the site. And it's gonna force Dia way back away from the bomb. They're not gonna commit to it just yet, though, because there's no kit in play on these three players, which is gonna make things very awkward as Snappy gets back in. Low HP for Tessis, and I think this one might be done unless Tessis is a beautiful over. shot. Oh my god, it's over with time. He did have the shot, but you're absolutely right. No chance to defuse. Yeah, that was a bit sketchy, too, because all three players from Ents were coming up that B ramp to defend the defuse. But also, I mean, in, in some sense, kind of smart when you consider Sun Pius gets a kill, they probably think he's going to be flanking through Jaguar and then Cave. He repositions to put all three players there. And as you mentioned, just the time being the biggest opponent there for the heroic retake. Both pistols going the way of Ents in this map. Yes, but they're only tied eight to eight. So yes, we'll see if but. they can build on that. There's yes. always a but. There's all, oh. well, I'm a good but. Makes things more interesting that way. You know, makes you think twice. <laughs> Alda tries to fire up towards top middle. Actually caught Kadian inside of the smoke. It was not the one he was aiming at, but whatever. We take them. We take those. Strays for days. Just tell everyone it was designed. Stown steps out to the plant spot. Nice shot on a mat and shuts him down. Diha does the same in return. Still dangerous, though, with this M4. Yabby almost gets two, but he certainly sets up Tess's, and now it's Snappy, all on his lonesome. I'm down behind him. He's not going to go for that immediately. In fact, bypassing it, perhaps trying to use that as a bit of a ruse to his location. 
Ooh. Sees the back. That that should confirm it. That's a butt. I think he gets both. That is a butt. That is a nice butt for him to see because it's a lineup and snappy with two. Immediately and gets the second round very close, so it has to be said considering. And uh, now we'll see them need a clean round to keep the money strong, but they won't be going against much in the hands of the CTs. Yeah, I think against that buy, they're, they're you know fine with it turning into a 1v2 victory as long as it came out to being the victory. Remember, there was an M4 in the field of play as well from Yabby. That caught him off guard quite a bit. Up Tessas find a frag. Everyone cheering on the end side of things, and Snappy's getting loud. Let's talk shit and Danish. Yeah, there has been a bit of Danish going on inside the server. Typically, it's English, and I can kind of figure out what they're up to, but I have no idea what they're saying to each other in this game. Volda knows what he's saying. He's saying and spraying. Called someone Satan earlier. Did he really? Well, I'm assuming it's a word in Danish that doesn't actually mean Satan, but yeah. Maybe that person's just the devil. Could be that as well. 10 to 8. Two round lead for Entz. Snappy's got the Mac 10. And this is something the, the, the older iteration of Mac 10, uh, events was, was very, very good at. Having a MAC-10 in play, using it to bully, use it to be aggressive, using it to create space. We'll see how they decide to do things here. Shot from Shush. Snappy. Gets the AK eventually on the third time trying. Spray going toward him. I don't even think he's aware of what's going on or where that's coming from, but he can see the bullet holes now to his right side. Stowen continues to tap in that direction. Snappy has two options. He can be aggressive, try and find a kill to alleviate some pressure over at A for his teammates, or he can let them take the attention and just play a real... It might have to be an aggressive lurk, considering they're a man down at this point. Fight or flight, Jason. Those are the only two choices. Yeah. Dehan Madden. Ooh. The risk pays off. They've stepped in front of the smoke, see nobody. They have not yet made noise, not yet given away the game. They're going to go all the way through Temple, aren't they? Oh, dear. This is a massive... Oh, Shush is in trouble. He is, but... They don't have information on Dono, which is why they're doing this. The fact that they get that kill in rotation, if they go back now, they're actually giving time to Katie and to get that open position. How do they plant the bomb? Yeah, this actually was kind of... I actually kind of really thought this was a cool decision in a way, but certainly now it's made things more difficult, although d can get an easy plant. He's going to have to take the risk that nobody is rotating over to find that timing. And him and Valda are completely split in this two on four. All he needed was Donut Watch, though, because he looked all the way through CT, so he knew he had time at least to get it down. But now, you're right, two versus four in the site. Not the best position for D as well, based on this rotation, because if they come from CT Connector, he's just sitting in front, which is why that nade's going to be thrown to soften them up. Sees them, gets the call, can't get the kill. Volda, they know where he is as well, because he just made contact. They don't know this position. They don't know this position. Uh, you're right, you're right. They know the general direction. Not that he's inside behind the box. Shabby gets him instead, though. And it will be the round, the first of the half for Heroic. So Valda tries to use that HE grenade as, as kind of a, a flashbang of sorts to activate Diha and obscure the vision of Heroic for his peak and also uses that kind of scuffle to change his position over towards the box, which absolutely worked. Oh, look at the nade damage. Nice catch. Replay crew. Shout out to you, replay crew. You the real MVP. Someone's got to be. 10-9. Pius on the AWP. Katie in to do the same. Katie in 14 kills. Sun Pius, 14 kills. Valda, 15, by the way. So he's the new player. Sure, you've got Snappy and Dia just ahead, but they're definitely holding their own inside of this roster. Matt, he spotted a second player. Spotted that gun barrel just inside of the smoke, but can't find it on her tree. Doesn't want to go for the reload, because that would give away maybe a chance to be aggressive. Oh, Shadow. That's pretty sick. Do you think that was a shadow bait? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'd like to think so because that would be sick. That would because for years we've been saying, oh, the shadows are such a disadvantage. Like that, was, that would be like amazing if show the high broken. show the high shadow and peek from below. That, that was pretty cool. That worked out. If that was intentional, because let's face it, they should maybe not in every situation, but if they know there's a shadow on a set peak. You could easily design that, and if they did, that was no, I, don't, I don't think that's designed. I don't think you ever design anything based off hoping that someone sees the shadow. That's a very flimsy thing to base it off of, but regardless, it looks cool. I'm going right, we'll to... I think there's a chance you could do that. If you know that you're going to go for that boost all the time, so you're like, all right, I'm just going to fake my peak. You go. Because they left the op low. 
Uh, look, watch. Oh. No, that's an AK low. Oh, uh, no. It, well, you're right. It was some pie. Still hit the shot from above. My bad. So, yeah. Okay. That was just know. a design double peek, and just the player below. Just the timing. Peaked works. a little bit earlier. Yeah, yeah. But it was cool. <sighs> Damn, I big really reel, reel it back in. I know you got excited. I appreciate that. Man, I got hyped shadows up. for me. Like at, at that question they ask every one of us uh, at various events, like, what would you change in Counter Strike? For me, it's client side shadows. Okay. Because like it's just such a silly thing that it's such an advantage for everyone except you. All right, I might have got ahead of myself with that one, but man. All you kids in chat right now, go do that in matchmaking. You'll be god. <laughs> Yabby with a godlike double kill, and Shush with some follow-up aggression. Sun Pius goes for one quick shot, but doesn't want to commit to the fight just yet. Still a chance for them to recover, and he's got the bomb as well. If he goes down, there's no chance. D has taken space over towards A. Valda's going to follow it up. No noise being made by those two, so Kadian and Donut has no idea. And Sun Pius just now going to get on his horse. All the sneaking his way up the close wall toward Donut. Needs those boxes to move, but it's not really how it works in CS, so he's got to go further to get coverage. Walda going to line up and going to fight Tess's. Tough off angle, and now Sun Pius has nowhere to go. That was always going to be a difficult affair for Entz. Good round win from Heroic. They didn't come into this one. I think they kind of crazy buy either. At the moment, four players surviving, going to do wonders for their economy. Just going way downtown for this one. Some pious though, he's easy. Fair enough. I was gonna say, all he's done is summoned his AWP in that direction, but still hits the shot at range. So 11 to 10. Still in favor of Entz. Nicely done from Yabby. Even trying to pick up the AK-47 afterwards with those little T-Rex arms. That's a look of focus. Got to be focused. Let's see if they shadow bait this time, Jason. <laughs> All right, guys, shadow bait strategy. Let's do it again, just like last time. Tech nine on a tussle. Snappy's going to turn the corner. Oh, if he commits to that, Tessus was not ready. Right, tech nine. You'd think he just keeps running at Maybe he anticipated there would be two players there, but. Either way, he's gonna go down. D is now gonna double up on that Madden, trying to get in close, but Katie down the wall. Easy shot for the back lane. And D is now the only one in the bomb site itself. This is gonna get exponentially more difficult for Enz here on out. He's got the one, though. They know where he is. He's going to follow it up. Never mind the fact he's the only one inside of the site because Kadian's going to be heading for the hills, I think, with his AWP at this point. And it looks like this could be a 12-10 scoreline now in favor. Excuse me, events. Great Boom. round. Great round for Mets. That's just a typical Ents round. Change of pace, hit that bomb site real quick. They haven't shown it yet. Heroic, get beat. That two-round lead is maintained. Now, because previously, Heroic had had a strong win with four players surviving, they can rebuy in this round. It's not going to be the prettiest. They'll have three M4s and AWP on Cadians. they got plenty of tools to work with. One player is going to be a little deficient with probably just a Deagle. Let's see if this one yields any success as they have just the one MP9. The rest are able to get on the rifles, including that of Cadian, who has his AWP in hand still. Atten's pushed pretty far up mid. Oh, hey. they're fast again. Uh, shush, though, back at CT. Good long shots. M4, laser beam accuracy. Atten couldn't find the shot. Knows. Oh, that they're coming back to him. And he hears Tessas as well. That's massive. I said he was up middle quickly. He actually got in behind them. The unfortunate part is he lost all of his teammates. But he still has a chance to pull this back because the bomb is now grabbable. Very much so for him. Problem is, is he aware of the fact that Jabby has rotated around and has the lane from CT? It's over a minute to work with. I think he just sit tight. Yeah, I think he's going to wait for some kind of a peek. No one's giving it to him, though. Stown and Yabby both just hunker down into their corners. Madden almost, I feel like, at this point where you don't know the position, you almost have to go find one before you plant. Oh, that's a big risk, and it's going to pay off. I am so surprised he doesn't get peaked from Donut on that, but Jabby's got the kill instead. Down goes Madden. Heroic is going to bring this back to within one. 
I thought originally he was going to run back down A, and then he would have been heard from Donut. And I didn't, I, like, I was genuinely concerned that he didn't know anyone was going to be in Donut, but he went for the plant and made it work. Yeah, it's unfortunate. Kadian gets aggressive through the smoke, so Madden could just never find him in any kind of timing that would have helped his teammates access the bomb site. Good shot from Yabby at the end, 12 to 11. That time, the fast pace round just gets shut down completely. Good shooting at range back from CT spawn. Oh, Chris, that's a massive slam dunk on Nivalda. Just commits. He says, screw it. If I'm this damaged, I want the fight. I've got to get the kill. I think he has to be for the strat to kind of work the way they want it to, right? Because look at how far Madden's gotten in. They had to have someone aggressive in middle to keep some attention in that direction. Don't be confused. That's a glitch. Yeah, the bomb there say. in the site. That bright green orb. So Madden's in an awkward position, but now he's been cleared out. Good find from Shush. And yeah, this is a this feels like a cheese round that just is not working in any way. Take some cheese with that. I, I feel like this is one of those rounds, because I think if you look at this right now as a viewer, you're just like, this is stupid. Like, that's just like rushed three different spots on the map all at the same time, like individually. But I, if, it, if it works the way it's, you know, obviously designed, I think it, it looks pretty cool. But it's funny because everyone in chat says that watching it, but yet they go into matchmaking and they all do that. So, yeah, you tell them. Take that I fight. Will. Oh, I will. <laughs> Me versus 40,000 of you or whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm doing it. 12 12 all tied I'm up scared of you chat heroic avoided that disastrous reset so it's ants who have to go down to pistols well this time not going to be walking into an absolute slaughter so as you say they're just the pistols test us with a nade at the ready to go down toward the ramp could be devastating but you throw smoke first with an eight a little bit too early, unfortunately. That one was better thrown. That one was great. Shout out to Stown. Oh, oh, baby. Shout out to Sun Pius. That was sick. Stown's going to get a kill back on Snappy. They now know they're at the ramp. Sun Pius is going with this aggression, though. He's going to follow it up for a second. That's Katie down. Not ready for Yabby, though. Shadow, 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 shadow. But this time, it's Madden to come back out with the AK picked up. And the bomb's planted and all of this. Ent might be able to pull this back still. Oh, Shush is still very, very far away. Goes down. Madden needs another clean headshot. 39 HP. No armor on him. But he must have it quick. Smoke actually blocks him off. Smoke blocks off Shush. Desperate jump through. A return smoke gives him the freedom. There's Madden with the trade. Now to the AWP, and he's got a 1v1. Sneaks for the angle. Oh, ooh, a flash. He saw the flash. He went for the shot on Stowen. He was tapping the bomb to bait him out. Now Stowen knows he's locked in the corner. He's got to hit a no scope at that point in time. Oh, it's not going to happen, but you're right. The time is gone. Stowen in the corner should survive, no problem, but they've lost the round. And Ents get away with an eco. Oh, that shot from Sun Pius is something special. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, deuces. That's so sick. I love that we <laughs> saw it from his angle, too. He's just mindlessly jumping around, checking down the right. I know. He's like, bang dead. He's all excited. He's like, oh, look, I'm buddy hopping. Oh. <laughs> Nicely done. Good clutch from Madden as well. Even just realizing a scenario that just seems out of reach, you may just want to save because you will have nothing in the next round. Losing bonus is just at one round. It's just at 1,400, so it won't be pretty. If Ents can take a site efficiently here, they might be able to get a freebie. Happy. He's actually in the lane. Ooh, that was problematic because Tessis put some pretty sturdy damage into him. That one's tagged up to 22 as well. What a bold play at this stage of the game. Kadian with a push, and he's going to find a pick. It's rewarded. Yabby with another one on the Snappy, so this is all great for Heroic. Exactly what they would have wanted. Three on five. And all that's left is basically hitting this B-bomb site. Dia, ooh, tagged up, 48 HP. Smoke on top of him, he knows that one was gonna go deeper based on the bouncing, so he didn't want to be exposed in front of it. He doesn't even matter, he's got his head removed. Tessis doesn't show us the, okay, Sun Pius, he sees that. 
No, that's that's X-ray throwing you for a loop. Is it? I think he saw <laughs> the silencer. Did he not? I had to look at the mini map because I was like, wait, you shouldn't be able to no, see that. No, but it, it looks so. It wasn't even. I could have sworn I saw the texture, but you're right. That position. All right, listen. It's I told fine. You I can't read. I, I just think it's funny. Is it? You can't go in yeah, there. Yeah, it's funny for you. No, I can't, can't buy go in it there, Matt. Madden. Matt Madden. Well. It works the other way. It's Ensu who's got to save the weapons. Madden and Sun Pius going to get no bonus money. And they've got no loss bonus built up either. Ah. 13 all. Counter terrorists win. You called it. They had to make that save very early on on both sides because of the break point. So N select two. Concede 13-13, but they'll be able to force around this. It's going to be a tight force, though. They're going to Tech Nines, not even SMGs, not even anything rapid. So the Tech Nines are going to have to be pretty committed. Snappy and Valda with those. And that puts them low. Look at the money. So this is now boot on the other foot. Keep in mind, too, like the bigger picture of this for this group as well. Complexity is 2-0 and after two days of play. Change of pace. We saw a fast pace round towards the B-bomb site work earlier for Ants. Saw a fast pace towards A not work at all. Let's see what they come up with here. Madden heading towards Smoke very quickly. They're going to take Jaguar. They're going to go directly into it already. So this could be a straight contact play from Cave even. Madden's going to clear that. I keep going. Why not? This is massive. Oh, they have no idea. Stowen's done for. He checks it. A bit sloppy from Madden, but they still get the kill. He's got support there as well. Tessis is going to go back around. Watch the secondary peak. Tessis saw it, but was flashed off and couldn't find the shot onto Snappy, who desperately wants the rifle that was found and killed inside of the site. As he runs around, he's not aware of the second lane, but now a smoke is deployed, so Jabby won't be able to spot that. It's just becoming annoying at this point that they're jumping inside of the site so effectively. Yeah, and Shush is on a big flank right now. You can see him coming down the hallway right here. No one looking at that direction just yet. Valda's going to be the one exposed, so Heroic's going to slow play this retake until Shush is in position, but Madden is the closest one to watch in the flank and he's in cave he's in jaguar no one looking at this no one looking at ramp and volta might be a freebie well there's a freebie but i think it becomes a reverse flank then surely you push back around no they're gonna stay on it they're gonna watch the bomb they know the time is getting lower boosted up madden on top of the box to see above the smoke d has gotten zabby oh my goodness he finds testis as well so snappy's almost sacrificial because the bomb continues to tick Get a little wider. Get a little wider. Madden doesn't know where it is. Oh, he no. doesn't know where it's planted. All he had to do was take a step and get the kill. It doesn't matter if he goes down after that. He had the round one. There's no way he could have seen Shush. He, he thought he was actually just staying behind the pillar whatsoever. And Shush was out in the open as far away from the bomb as you possibly could be and not exposed. Because otherwise, that looked like the perfect play for Entz. I, I sincerely thought he was going to swing it and just sacrifice it because the other player is too far away. So all you have to kill, do is kill the diffuser. Oh, those two kills from Dihar, everything as well. Yeah, look, there's just no way to even realize that he's on it. He couldn't spot it. Too far from that angle, too deep for the angle. Here we go, B-Rush in round 28. Tessis has an opening double kill. Stown has a kill. And this is shut down very quickly. 15-13, Heroic have two chances to close things out. Absolutely, they do. And there's not a lot of money for Ents this round either. Man, oh man, talk about a game that could have gone either way. Such a pivotal round. Exist behind his troops. He's pleased with... This map, if they can wrap it up, certainly. Molotov down to the corner. They'll follow that up with a second one as well on the CT side. So they want that mid-aggression. Oh, that nade going through. So much damage. No, they get away from it. Okay, some Pius actually manages to evade that incendiary because it was nearly a stack of arsenal and utility on top of him. Nade just tickling a couple players. Mid-control for Heroic. They don't care about the A bomb site. No one's home. They want to control the middle of the map so they can shuffle back and forth wherever they need to go with some speed. Volda's in an interesting spot because if they think this is all toward B... They're going to wrap around. Th these guys in Jaguar are dead. They're about to get crunched. Ooh, yep, there's the first, and Sun Pius got nothing to do. All of a sudden, Deha and Snappy over towards Highway. Volda completely blocked off from any kind of assistance and a double fight for him. Yeah, Heroic's going to take map one. It's down. Just trying to do anything at this point to pull those kills toward him and make this a little bit quicker. He's going to go down to Diep, but it's a one on th four. Excuse me, Shush still up in this as well with six HP. 
And making a lot of noise. Kadian knows he's there. Even the shots from him. Not over committing to this push, though. Two low HP players. They don't need to give this away by any means. No, they're just playing contact. This is smart. Tess is just saying, shush, don't you dare move. Don't you dare move. As soon as you shoot, I'm peeking, and the round's basically over. Flash his way in. Tessus will peek this surely. Low HP in the corner. He has to check that. Doesn't matter. Tessus.